acids and bases in the laboratory. Have you ever thought some food item tastes bitter? While some tastes sour? It is advised to have lemon juice, vinegar or baking soda solution when any person suffers from acidity due to overeating. Have you ever noticed that a stain of curry on a white cloth becomes reddish brown when soap, which is basic in nature, is scrubbed on it? It turns yellow again when the cloth is washed with plenty of water. The sour and bitter tastes of food are due to acids and bases present in them. Lemon juice is basic in nature, so it neutralizes the acidity. Collect the following samples from the science laboratory. Hydrochloric acid HCl Sulfuric acid H2SO4 Nitric acid HNO3 Acetic acid CH3COOH Sodium hydroxide NaOH Calcium hydroxide CaOH2 Potassium hydroxide KOH Magnesium hydroxide MgOH2 and Ammonium hydroxide NH4OH Put a drop of each of the above solutions on a watch glass and test with a drop of the different indicators. Change in color is observed with red litmus, blue litmus, phenolphthalein, and methyl orange solutions for each of the solutions. These indicators tell us whether a substance is acidic or basic by changing its color. How do acid and base react with metals? Let us do an activity to understand the reaction. Take about 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid in a test tube and add a few pieces of zinc granules to it. Pass the gas being evolved through the soap solution. Take a burning candle near a gas filled bubble. Repeat this activity with some more acids like HCl, HNO3 and CH3COOH. The metal in the above reactions displaces hydrogen from the acids. This is seen as hydrogen gas. The metal combines with the remaining part of the acid and forms a compound called salt. Thus the reaction of a metal with an acid can be summarized as acid plus metal gives salt plus hydrogen gas. How do acids and bases react with each other? Let us do an activity. Take about 2 ml of dilute NaOH solution in a test tube and add 2 drops of phenolphthalein solution. Add dilute HCl solution to the above solution drop by drop. 
why did the color of phenolphthalein change after the addition of an acid now add a few drops of naoh to the above mixture in the above activity we have observed that the effect of a base is nullified by an acid and vice versa the reaction taking place is written as naoh plus hcl brings nacl plus h2o how do metal carbonates and metal react with acids let us do an activity take a test tube take about 0.5 g of sodium carbonate in test tube add about 2 ml of dilute hcl to the test tube pass the gas produced through lime water the reactions occurring in the above activity are written as na2co3 plus 2 hcl brings 2 nacl plus h2o plus co2 on passing the carbon dioxide gas evolved through lime water caoh2 plus co2 brings caco3 plus H2O limestone chalk and marble are different forms of calcium carbonate all metal carbonates and hydrogen carbonates react with acids to give a corresponding salt carbon dioxide and water pH value A scale for measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution called pH scale has been developed The P in the pH stands for potence in German meaning power On the pH scale we can measure pH from 0 very acidic to 14 very alkaline pH can be considered as a number which indicates the acidic or basic nature of a solution higher the hydronium ion concentration lower is the pH value The pH of a neutral solution is 7. Values less than 7 on the pH scale represent an acidic solution. As the pH value increases from 7 to 14, it represents an increase in OH negative ion concentration in the solution. That is increase in the strength of alkali. Generally paper impregnated with the universal indicator is used for measuring pH The strength of acids and bases depends on the number of H positive ions and OH negative ions produced respectively If we take hydrochloric acid and acetic acid of the same concentration say 1 molar then these produce different amounts of hydrogen ions acids that give rise to more h positive ions are said to be strong acids and acids that give less h positive ions are said to be weak acids
इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ पी एच Our body works within the pH range of 7 to 7.8. Living organisms can survive only in a narrow range of pH change. When pH of rainwater is less than 5.6, it is called acid rain. When acid rain flows into the rivers, it lowers the pH of the river water. The survival of aquatic life in such rivers becomes difficult. It is very interesting to note that our stomach produces hydrochloric acid. It helps in the digestion of food without harming the stomach. During indigestion, the stomach produces too much acid. and this causes pain and irritation to get rid of this pain people use bases called antacids tooth decay starts when the ph of the mouth is lower than 5.5 tooth enamel made up of calcium phosphate is the hardest substance in the body It does not dissolve in water but is corroded when the pH of the mouth is below 5.5. Have you ever been stung by a honey bee? Bee sting leaves an acid which causes pain and irritation. Use of a mild base like baking soda on the stung area gives relief. salts The compound formed by the reaction between an acid and a base is known as a salt. Salts like magnesium chloride, potassium nitrate, zinc carbonate and copper sulfate are useful to us in many ways. Salts are ionic compounds which contain positively charged cations and negatively charged anions. Salts formed from any hydroxide and hydrochloric acid are called chlorides. Of sulfuric acid are called sulfates. Of nitric acid are known as nitrates. and of carbonic acid are known as carbonates salts formed from acids and bases are called neutral salts acids and weak bases are called acidic salts weak acids and bases are called basic salts sodium chloride is obtained from the sea water by the process of evaporation it is referred to as stable salt sodium chloride is used for preserving pickles fish and meat in manufacturing soap for melting ice formed on roads in cold countries and as a raw material for the manufacture of other compounds some salts have a fixed number of water molecules as an essential part of their crystal these water molecules which form the part of the crystal are called water of crystallization and such salts are called hydrated salts ferrous sulfate heptahydrate feso4.2 
H2O Zinc Sulfate Heptahydrate ZnSO4 dot 7 H2O Magnesium Sulfate Heptahydrate or Epsom Salt MgSO4 dot 7 H2O Potash Alum 